I'm going to show you how to send messages to Slack when you create a record in Adalo. So let's get a form. Okay, and I've made an example collection called cars with one property which is name. So let's do this. Right, simple as that. The user can now make a new car and enter the name. So what we want, we want on Slack to be notified when a new car was created. For my own use case, I have a VA, a virtual assistant, who has to perform a task when there's a new record. So this is really useful. So let's go to a new tab, Google, and uh, let's go Slack API. Right. Now you will need to have a Slack channel set up. Um, I'm not going to explain how to do that here, but here we go. So we want to send messages. Okay, and it'll be a incoming webhook. Let's look down here. So we, first we need a Slack app. So click create Slack app. Testing Slack Adalo. Now I've got a workspace already, so I'll add it there. Create app. Testing Slack Adalo. We're going to use incoming webhooks. And we need to press activate up here. Right, and we're pretty much halfway there now. Add new webhook to workspace. It's going to ask for permission, and we need to pick default channel. So you're already going to have set up a workspace and have a channel on it. So pick a channel that you want it to go to. I'll put it in testing, allow. So now when we do this message, it's going to be sending the message to that testing channel. You can see in the sample code here, it's got that webhook now. Okay, we're going to copy that first. Copy the webhook. Let's go back to our app. On the submit button, we want to create the car record. Add another action. Custom action, new custom action. Let's call it Slack Adalo. Type create. API base URL is going to be that webhook. Post method. Right, and now we just need to do the body. So going back here, we need this, which is JSON format. JSON format is always in these curly brackets. So let's just get that there and post it in. So now we can see the body of the request is going to have the text, hello world. Let's test that out. Run test request. Now you can see in the corner here that has already worked. We already have it working on Adalo. So all we want to do now is have some real input. So we've got text. We need to put an input up here which is going to be car name. So let's remove hello world and put in this new input I just made, car name. Okay. It needs an example value when you make this input up here. And then when you run the test, it's going to use that example value. Run the test again. There we go, forward focus. Save custom action. Let's preview and check it out.
BMW 3 Series Create Car. There we go, wasn't that easy? Let's go across to my Slack channel. We can see we've got my app testing Slack Adalo. Hello World, Ford Focus, Undefined, ouch. Why would it say Undefined? Undefined. So, troubleshooting time. Let's go back to, ah, I know what's happened. So, we made that input called car name, but on this part, on the click actions, we need to have the magic text, which does that. So, it's going to be this new car name done. Let's test that again. BMW 3 Series Create. There we go, all working. Doesn't get much easier than that. I hope you enjoyed, guys. See you next time. Bye.